Hey everybody! So I have a Sephora haul for you guys today, and I've got a baby with me. Can you say hi? His daddy's out getting dinner right now, and I thought I would film this real quick because he just picked it up for me and shipped it to my U.S. address. So, sorry I look shiny running around with a baby, but I was so excited about it, I just wanted to show you guys. So, the first thing I got is a palette. This is a holiday palette. It is the Too Faced Le Grand Palais palette. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I want to be reviewing these holiday palettes as they come out for you guys. So if there's anything that you want to see, you want me to buy, let me know. So, opening up, it is the cutest packaging. It's going to be a little tricky to do one-handed. Okay. So it comes in a box like that with a bow. And then if you remove the lid portion, and open it up like that. So everything's kind of propped up. Coming close so you can see it. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna prop it up beside me. So in the top portion there, there is a mascara, and it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. A little sample guy. I took a look at the brush when I got it, and it looks interesting. I might like it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is from, well obviously Too Faced, it's the Melted liquid lipstick. I'll swatch it for my hand. Or for my hand, on my hand. See how much harder this is with a baby? You want to play with that, don't you? So that's the color right there. I feel like it might be a bit too bright for me. I will try it out, however. And then the last little thing in the top is a shadow insurance. So it's an eyeshadow primer. And I have tried this out before. It's okay. It's not like holy grail or anything, but it's okay. And then the bottom section is the actual palette. I'm trying to pull it out one-handed. So that's what it looks like right there. And then when you open it, I was shocked. This is stunningly beautiful. Like, it did not look this sparkly or intense online. So there's all those shadows, some blushes, highlighters, and bronzer in the bottom but these are so buttery, so soft, and so dang sparkly and pigmented. The only, I swatched a couple of them, the only dud so far, I'll see how it applies on the eyes, but it's the matte, um, like transitional brown shade, which really sucks, because you need that with all these sparkly ones, but should we swatch some for them? Okay, I'll just put a bunch on my fingers, because, like I said, these are crazy. Look at that, whoa, baby hand in product. This is why we don't do videos with babies. Okay, look at that. Like I just barely touched them. Let me put it on my hand for you. And then one swipe across the hand. The blue didn't turn out so good actually. It's very like, very not pigmented and choppy, interesting. But those bottom three, my goodness, look how gorgeous those are. So I'm really excited about that. I'll quickly swatch some of the blushes for you. All right, tried to put her down for a second. Let's see what happens. So we have Skyline and Stardust blush. One's pink and one's more coral. And then this gorgeous highlight and like kind of a bronzy, glowy bronze. But I wanna show you this highlight here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's down there on the bottom of my wrist. Look at that. It's like, I don't know, a beige champagne. It's just stunning. So, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna try and make up look with it. If you wanna see like a more in-depth, you know, review, let me know. But that's the first impressions on that. All right, next thing we have is a new foundation. I think this is new. I haven't seen this on Sephora before. It's the Black Up Paris Full Coverage Cream Foundation. It comes in a box like that. I got the shade HC01, and when I took it out, checking on the baby, I think it's too dark for me, which really sucks, I usually do pretty good. It comes in a tube like that. I'll put some on my hand so you can see the color. It looks very full coverage, I will say that. Okay, so it's right there on my hand, and as I blend it out, see how it's, it's like me when I'm tan. So that's disappointing. I'm gonna have to return that. I might do, like it's so full coverage. Oh my goodness, it's like crazy concealer. So I might have to do um, like a first impressions on it even though it's the wrong color. 
I'll still try it out. I'm just gonna wipe all this stuff off my hand. But yeah, I got that foundation. And then I got the Sephora Favorites Draw the Line Eyeliner Sampler. So that's what it looks like there. All right. Opening it up. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the packaging. Here's why. It's like in a pyramid. So each eyeliner fits on its own level. Whoa, but as you can see, they don't stick in the case very well. What's up? You're okay. So yeah, I'm really not a fan of the packaging. Let me know if you wanna see a whole in-depth kind of review of this, but there's a purple one from Urban Decay. There's a Sephora eyeliner waterproof. Then there's the Trooper Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D, which is probably the reason I got this, to be honest. A Stila Smudge Stick in black. I do have this in brown and I like it. Then there is a Tarte Precision Liner. So again, another felt tip that I wanted to check out. And then a Smashbox uh, Brown Waterproof Liner. So that's what came in that kit. She found a blankie on the ground. All right, the last few products, I got another Benefit Professional. Guys, I almost bought the big one, but it's like $36, and this was 10. I just couldn't. One day I'll buy the big one, but I got more of that regardless. I got this because I had a sample of it the last time I did a Sephora order, and I fell in love with it, and that doesn't often happen to me, so the sample won me over. This is from uh, Sugar. It's the Sugar Nude Fresh. So it's a lip balm, but it's the nude color. And I'm wearing it on my lips right now, and it's, oh, I was putting it on and I was like moaning. I was like, oh, this is so amazing. It is so, it smells so good. And it's just so hydrating, and it's just the prettiest nude color. There it is there. Oh, it just feels so good on the lips. I can't even tell you. It was totally worth it. And it smells so like sweet. I just love it. Okay, anything else? I think this was a sample. The Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. So I guess just another one from Fresh. And then I got Bare, Middle, Bare Minerals Ready SPF 20 foundation. But this is just like flat cardboard. So I think that's maybe a powder. I don't think I could do my whole face with that. You good down there, girl? And then I got a Burberry Fresh Glow Liquid Fluid Base. So there's enough in there to do my face. I'll try that out. And the last thing was like something I got with a coupon code, I think, and it's the Buxom Beauty Insider Tokens of Temptation little kit. It was just free. Like you just, whenever you do an online order, don't ever check out without Googling whatever it is your, whatever company you're in, coupon code and see what comes up because I would have never known. So I got two Buxom lip glosses, a pink one and like a fuchsia one, and I love these. These are so nice. And then like a Buxom lip crayon. And that looks like a really nice fall color. So yeah, that's my Sephora order. Let me know uh, if you guys want reviews, first impressions, tutorials on, on any of this. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!